Welcome back to Daytime Ottawa here on Rogers TV. September is arthritis month and joining us here today is Dr. Kate Rayom to talk about some, some ways we can actually get through some of that joint pain when we get up in the mornings. Well, welcome to the show, Kate. Great to have you here. And Kate, before we get into some of those ideas, um, let's talk about arthritis in general. What, what is arthritis and, and what causes it? Mm -hmm. Well, the itis means inflammation. So this is inflammation in the joints. It can affect any joint in the body. And there's lots of different types of arthritis uh, that have somewhat different symptoms, but you know, they're mostly characterized by joint pain. The most common form of arthritis is osteoarthritis. And this is the kind of wear and tear that tends to happen on the joints over time. We associate with the aging process and a degeneration often of the cartilage within joints. So before we get to, to some of these tips as well, what about prevention? How do we prevent arthritis? Mm -hmm. This is important. So, uh, you know, maintaining a healthy diet, we, we say this often for so many things, but specifically uh, looking at an anti-inflammatory diet, and we can go into the specifics of what that means, but arthritis being a condition of inflammation, that's important. Continuing to move. Uh, joints, like so many other things in the body, will suffer from the use it or lose it type of syndrome. So nothing too strenuous, but movement is really helpful for all, all kinds of health conditions. So so these are some of the things to keep in mind to keep our joints healthy. It reminds me, actually, you know, you saying that it reminds me of a quote from Dick Van Dyke. He was asked, you know, with about, you know, his um, his success and of, of long, longevity. What's his secret to longevity? You should write a book. And he said, well, it'd be a short book because the book would be move. That's all I would say in the book. And I, and I know that's exactly what you're talking about. And let's let's go into some of these tips because movement is, is your top tip. And that is stretching when you get up in the morning. Mm -hmm. The morning can be a tough time for arthritis sufferers and all of us. We can feel just more stiff because we've been inactive, immobile, uh, mostly while we're sleeping overnight. So trying to mobilize the joints, get some movement into them and uh, circulation flowing to the joints. So whether it's still while you're lying in bed doing a few uh, knee bends, maybe some bicycle movements, if it's hips and knees that are concerning you before you put weight on those joints, or you know, just uh, moving your hands if that's you know what is troubling you. So just getting that circulation going before you demand too much of the joints or ask them to you know bear weight, for example. Next tip is, is taking a hot shower what's the benefit of that mm -hmm. again this is another great way to increase circulation to the joints first thing in the morning help to clear out some of those inflammatory components that may have built up overnight and uh, get some fresh circulation to the joints and that can help with uh, a little bit with the, the fluid in the joints I mean we're talking about healthy fluid that's supposed to be there synovial fluid so again uh, a warm shower, any kind of warm application really is helping with that circulation. Many people start the day with, of course, a, a cup of coffee and, and you have a little secret ingredient that perhaps people should be should be putting in their coffee. What is that? Mm -hmm. A scoop of collagen in your coffee. Now, we know that this is a hot trend for beauty purposes, but in fact, uh, it's important for joint health as well. And so your local health food store will likely have a collagen supplement that can mix into coffee. And uh, our cartilage is made up in large part of collagen. Collagen declines with age. We lose this over time, and it's a contributing factor to that joint degradation. And so you can help to top up your collagen by putting some, whether it's in your morning coffee or, you know, on its own to help replenish collagen that we find in joints. Well, I see you have foods in front of you there. You had mentioned diet a little bit earlier on in our, in our interview. Let, let's talk about diet and, and how important that is. Maybe you can expand on that for us. Mm -hmm. This speaks to the inflammation component of arthritis. And inflammation is a big factor for all kinds of health conditions. And what we eat makes a major difference in uh, our inflammation system. So fat is where it's at. Uh, getting rid of vegetable oils that are high in omega-6 fatty acids, which tend to be inflammatory, and instead substituting some anti-inflammatory fats, things like salmon, I've got my olive oil here, nuts and seeds. These are much healthier forms of fats that help to combat inflammation. 
And I also have uh, some uh, curry, for example. This is a source of, well, typically if it's a curry that contains turmeric, uh, has a component called curcumin in it. So this is an anti-inflammatory uh, spice, a component in that uh, spice. And this has been used widely and studied widely for its anti-inflammatory action. So enjoying lots of uh, curry if you, you do, or again, your local health food store will have a, a curcumin supplement to get in that wonderful anti-inflammatory spice. Yeah. And uh, you know, I've heard quite often, uh, Dr. Rayom, is, is that turmeric is, is like this, this magical spice that we, we should be trying to put into our diet whenever possible. Is there, is there a lot of truth to that? It's remarkable. The research really? around this turmeric and specifically that curcumin component, literally thousands of uh, research papers on this, uh, as well as clinical trials, less so the clinical trials using foods because absorption can be limited. This is where things like supplement come in, but it's definitely top uh, thing to think about in terms of nutrition for inflammation or to combat inflammation. When should we start being concerned? You know, I mean, I think most of us as, as we age, you know, we start, as you said, you know, we might have some joint pain when we get up. Maybe it's not necessarily arthritis. When should we sort of go see our doctor to, to get that diagnosis? This is a great question because, as I mentioned right off the top, there's lots of different types of arthritis, and they need to be managed in different ways. So if you are suffering with recurrent ongoing joint pain in one or more joints that's been troubling you for, uh, you know, continuously for two weeks without having an obvious cause, in other words, you're not uh, doing any unusual activities that may contribute to that, it's worthwhile checking with your doctor to find out uh, what might be going on. Some simple blood tests can help reveal a underlying causes and determine uh, if it is indeed arthritis and what could be underlying that. Dr. Kate Rayom, always a pleasure having you on the show. Thanks so much for joining us today. Really appreciate your time. You're welcome. Great to see you. Great to see you as well. I'll reiterate to everybody at home as well, get up and do some of those stretching and, and do some, you know, some fun sports, some easy sports. We'll be back with more right after this.